and as I touch it, I can reveal different layers of the object. Let's say if it's a painting, and there might be different layers because they were repainted and, and, and such, um, I could like kind of um, scrap away the painting and see what was underneath before and before that. Um, so it's really just, um, we wanted to just um, demonstrate this prototype. The content could be um, developed to link to another point and then to another point and to another point in the museum. So you create your path. So a more sophisticated version of this could be that it could guide you automatically. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have to necessarily know where you're going. It could go from one to another to another. And that's predefined by you. So you could actually say, right, I want one group to go that way, one group to go that way, to allow flow through a museum, or to dictate maybe what they see along their way. So, <coughs> it's called the loop. <laughs> uh, it can give uh, other layers of content. Uh, and we have a little demo with uh, our personal collection. <laughs> Well, that's, that's the, the, the adding. Waarom, waarom krijg ik nou niet het hoofd? Uh, in Waar doe ik dat? Get ahead. Zet je het erin? Oké, en dan. Hij heeft een plaats die echt really on, on really on dat. Ja. Yeah. 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 If the mummy was full size, it would work better. Ja, ja, ja. Dus hij heeft to match it. Ja. Finally, end with a kind of let's say yeah. takeaway message. So we go from the tooth to conservation of the whale in, in one exhibit. That's really brilliant. I think. What mood are you in? What do you you know? Do you want a lazy Sunday afternoon in a museum? Do you want no text? I don't want to see any text today. Do you want to know more? Do you want to know more than a normal person would want to know? Do you want to be inspired? <laughs>